Have you ever tried to reason with a child while they're having a tantrum? It usually doesn't go so well. Or maybe an adult full of rage. When our minds are racing and our emotions are high, we often cannot act rationally or even receive sound advice. In the stories that we will study this week, we will see how prophets and leaders use the power of music to still their minds, to be freed from depression, and to be quieted by God's presence in a way that allowed them to hear clearly from the Lord. There is evidence in the Bible that prophecy was regularly partnered with music particularly music from stringed instruments or zamar praise. In 1 Chronicles 25.1, we see that David separated worshipers in his army that would, and I quote, prophesy with harps, stringed instruments, and cymbals. How often do we seek a word from the Lord but feel like we are unable to hear him? We are constantly thinking and asking God to show us the way and to tell us what to do. Lord, please lead us. But what are we doing to prepare ourselves? What are we doing to create an atmosphere for God to move and for God to deposit that word within us? If worship and praise lead to revelation by preparing our hearts to hear from God, then let us set the atmosphere for God to speak. Let us rise each day with a song of praise on our lips. We should be filling our environment with worship music at home, in the car, at work, wherever we are. When the unwelcome and troubling voices of doubt and fear try to whisper into our days, we have to drown them out. And we have to drown them out with shouts of joy to our Lord and Savior. Just as it says in 2 Kings 3.15, then it will happen. The presence of God will surround us and we will be in his perfect peace. Once we are in tune with the sound of heaven, we will be able to clearly hear the voice and leading of the Holy Spirit. God still speaks today, but we need to learn how to actively listen. And the first step is to praise so that we can prepare our hearts to receive. Then he will respond. It's a promise. So let's go ahead and open up our Bibles to the passage that contains our key verse. I want us to get the whole story here. 